Months after young Jason Prasad was injured and lost sight to his right eye, he is still unable to return to school and do things for himself. The 11-year-old boy from Law 26, Betsy Grong, East Kanji, was at church last October when one of his friends ran up to him and poked him in his right eye with a 4-inch nail. After a number of tests and one major surgery, the young boy is feeling slightly better, but there is still more that needs to be done to correct his sight. Jason's father, Michael Prasad, said his son's eye was split from the injury and the veins were exposed. Last week, you take him up to Josh, though. Mm -hmm. And the doctor tell us um, he they give him a little more um, time, let it see, let it heal. Mm -hmm. But they said there's inf uh, we we call it infection in his eye. Something you would get an infection, and that would um, they would try to treat it in by daily basis, see how it's going on. But it's, they still have stitches in his eye behind behind of it. But that's it. But Due to the eye injury, Michael related that his son's mental health has also been affected as well, since he may have damaged a nerve that connects to the brain. Yes, he's not going to school up to now. Yes, number one, he's not going to school. He cannot attend school because I think out of the eye, um, he do have infection in his eye too. And due to the same sort of situation happening, Jason, Jason cannot attend school because um, Jason is not sung in right. Up to today, that's something right. I don't know if the thing um, affects his brain or whatever. I don't know. Um, he don't do stuff he's supposed to. His life completely changes. And when this newscast visited the young boy, his one wish was to be able to see again so that he could return to school. I want to give up my eye. I want to see back. I want to take my education. The family is hoping that they can get financial assistance to get the boy overseas to have other surgeries done in an effort to make his future bright again. Michael stated that the Shea organization had reached out to them asking for a medical report so as to get the boy the help he needs. But the father explained that the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation told him that they do not give out medical reports. Anyone willing to assist the family can contact them on telephone number 659-1345.